What is up guys? We are back today for Ladder Tour Round 5, and today I'm going to be using a team that um, is also known as the Jam Special, uh, number 2. We used uh, a different one yesterday, but um, this one is a little more interesting. It's got Mega Deancey, um, uh, Brave Bird Swords Dance, Talonflame. Cafagrigus is a really, really cool mon and has a lot of really cool implications with uh, its ability Mummy, uh, able to strip away things like... Uh, Gale Wings from Talonflame, preventing it from roosting on the following turn if you have a, a trick room up. Uh, then we have uh, Ferrothorn, uh, Hippo, which uh, Jamvad loves to use, as well as Spinner Starmie. So that team is kind of cool. Uh, it's got a couple of um, hazard deterrents in Mega Deancey and Starmie. Cool stuff. Uh, my opponent has almost Mono Dragon, if that's Zardex, which it shouldn't be because he has a Bisharp. Very, uh, very cool Dragon Spam team. Uh, Ferrothorn handles the majority of the dragons pretty well, but it doesn't deal with Zard too well. Um, against this team, I really just want to lead Deancey because I know like it's an obvious lead, but it covers the Kirin Black lead. That's what I'm going for here, uh, as he does lead off with Lando. So I just want to see uh, what this Lando is going to go for. Turn one, just protect. See what he locks himself into if he is Scarfed, which I doubt on this team, as um, he could have Rocker Garchomp, but I'm not sure. Uh, I'm just going to switch out into Hippo here, it's pretty much a safe switch, uh, except if he brings in Kirim, that could be bad, but uh, we'll deal with it when it comes in. I have a switch into Kirim being uh, Ferrothorn, unless he's HP Fire. Could double around a little bit, get his Zard in, but that just invites back Deancey, if he doesn't predict and go for Solar Beam. Thinking a couple of turns ahead here. He does just Quake, uh, I really just want a Rocks here. Uh, rocks are going to be a huge hindrance to my opponent's team, seeing as he has a Zard, a uh, Kirim Black. Stuff like that, so he's just going to knock right there. I'm just going to slack off this damage. Uh, he should, in theory, not attack me this turn. If he's going to attack, it should be a U-turn to get out of here. Uh, he's actually going to explode and get rid of our Hippo. Uh, but Hippo wasn't doing too, too much. Uh, and Lando was a pretty big issue to uh, Deancey because I couldn't Oko it. So I think here I just want to go into back into Deancey because it covers pretty much everything. Uh, especially the Latios. We are HP Fire, so we might not outspeed this if it's not HP Fire as well. Uh, so I'm just going to go for the Moonblast here. He does go for the Defog. Uh, loses some evasion there, so he's not dodging this Moonblast. <laughs> not that he was uh, dodging it to begin with, but... Uh, his team is extremely Deancey weak. I have to keep this thing around. Saying that, I think it might have to go down here if he brings in his Kirim. Uh, I, like I said before, I do have a switch in Ferrothorn, but that just invites in Charizard, and that thing is extremely scary to my team. Uh, I do have a Talon, though, which checks it pretty well, so not uh, not too, too worried. Uh, Bisharp could be coming in here. I could have, uh, totally see that. Uh, maybe to get up a Swords Dance or threaten me with the Iron Head. Uh, but I do have to keep Deancey in the back because it beats Zard. Um, a Garchomp actually comes in. That's a little interesting. Uh, I think I'm just going to go Feral here. If he sets up an SD, he sets up an SD. There's nothing I can do about that. We'll figure it out after. Uh, maybe go into Kofag, because it can definitely take a plus 2 Earthquake. It's not bulky, Kofagrigus, by the way, it's specially offensive. Uh, he does just go for the Iron Head, actually, so that's really cool. We get off a little bit of damage right there. And I don't think Spikes are too important. I would much rather just Leech Seed my opponent uh, on the Zard. As now, I could pull the trigger and go into Deancey, but I think Talonflame is just all around safe. Hopefully this thing isn't Zard X, because then I could actually just lose right here, but... Okay, he is. He, so he's four Dragons. Alright, um... I can't roost here either, so that's a little bit problematic. I uh, really feel like going into Deancey here might be my play. Uh, alternatively, actually, what I could do, because Confagrius isn't doing too much this game other than maybe taking a hit from Garchomp, but the way he played it, it seems to be Scarfed. So, it can't really do too much to me. It has to like lock itself in a rock slide and then switch out every time that Ferrothorn comes in. So I think I'm going to go Confagrius here. Uh, basically because I just want this thing to lose its Tough Claws. Uh, he's going to get the Mummy ability. We're going to get burned, actually, on his uh, Flare Blitz, so that's a little unfortunate. Uh, but now what I can do is I can actually switch out into Starmie pretty safely, as his Flare Blitz will not do enough to knock me out. Uh, he might go for Dragon Claw here, but he's essentially um, neutral Dragon Claw because he just lost the Tough Claws. So uh, he's just going to Declaw here. It's going to do a lot, but not enough to where I'm scared. Uh, as I can just throw out a Scald here and knock this thing out, uh, well, he's faster than me, right? So maybe my play is to sack Kofag at this point because this thing is still useful. I can get off a Toxic on the Kirin Black. Uh, yeah, I think Kofag sack is fine. Um, as then I can just go Talon Flame and Brave Bird. He's just going to Dragon Claw again. That's fine. We just go Talon here. 
I've got to add the plus one, that's why I switched into Starmie, honestly. I haven't been on my A game lately, but uh, hopefully we can pull it back a little uh, today. Let's see what he does. He might conserve this. Uh, I don't see why he would, though. Uh, because everything outspeeds it at this point, barring Ferrothorn, so that's uh, that's a very odd play. I wouldn't have made that play into Bisharp, to be honest. He's just going to get Wisped here uh, twice, because we outspeed him, so. Uh, he may just knock. He may, be lum he may be Lum as well, so we'll see. We'll see on this turn. Uh, again, I still have a counter to Kieran Black. It's not too threatening. And at this point, I can just sack off my Starmie to anything. So if I need to uh, find out what the uh, Garchomp is going for. Uh, he's actually going to SD here. I think I'm going to follow suit and SD myself because we are faster with the Brave Bird and that would put me in a very favorable position against the Kirin Black. Plus I think plus two Brave Bird after the burn should be able to take this thing out and I don't think a neutral knockoff is going to take us out because it's essentially neutral with the burn. Uh, he's going to go for knock, yeah it's not going to do enough. Uh, as now I think we do not die to recoil actually. So we'll be able to pick up a kill on this Bisharp and essentially get off a lot of damage on whatever else wants to come in. Yeah, we live that for sure. Um, yeah, Garchomp's not taking that well. He basically has to lock himself in a rock slide if he wants to kill, or a dragon move, really. Um, I might save this, actually, and just go into Pharaoh because there's no way he quakes here. There's no chance he quakes here. Um, and then I can just Gyro, I think. On the turn after. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Pharaoh. I'm gonna save this uh, because the Brave Bird on the Zardex is extremely important. He's just gonna Iron Head. Uh, that's fine. And I'm just gonna Gyro Ball here. And if I am correct and he is Scarfed, he's gonna have to switch out here into his Zard and let it go down, which is amazing. And now if he goes Chomp, I switch into Starmie. And then if he Fire Blasts or does anything fire related, then we can go into Deancey and fire off a Moon Blast. So uh, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Starmie does nothing else now. And I still have Talonflame in the back to Brave Bird, so this is good. Uh, he's going to Fire Blast, yep, and he's actually going to miss that. That's really unfortunate for my opponent. He's actually going to forfeit right there, so we're going to pick up that win. We'll move on to the next one. So that was, uh, I think that was very, very well played there. Uh, knowing that I wouldn't go down to the recoil was essential. Okay, this man has a Cronaut. That thing destroys us. <laughs> okay, I'm not looking forward to playing against that. Um, I'm thinking he's just going to lead off with his Lando, so I really uh, feel like... I feel like spikes might be more important than rocks this game because of the uh, the Cronaut. Plus, if I lead Pharaoh, I cover the Cronaut lead as well, so that's nice. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, and his only Pokemon that matches up well against this is the Zard. So let's just go for spikes. Again, Talon checks Zard pretty well if it's Zard Y, which looking at his team, why do we have to face two Zards in a row? I don't know what kind of Zard this is. Um, I think I go Talon here regardless, because we resist the Flare Blitz, uh, if he goes for it. If he's X, of course, which he is, uh, and he's gonna go for the Flare Blitz. That's gonna do 50%, which is still a very good amount. Uh, but now I can just, I think, roost up on this, and then go Hippo, or go Hippo directly. Yeah, I think going Hippo directly is probably my play, as, uh, he will more than likely Dragon Dance up right here. Oh no, he goes for Dragon Claw, okay. Um, I mean... I don't know if that would have actually killed uh, from 55. Well, yeah, probably because the Flare Blitz damage was 50. Uh, I'm getting up rocks here. He shouldn't want to stay in. Yeah, okay, good. He goes into Lando. That's cool. Now we have a layer of rocks and a layer of spikes up, which is awesome. Uh, I'm just going to go Sarmi here because I don't expect him to knock off. And even if he does, it doesn't kill. Uh, he just goes for rocks. That's good. Uh, we are just going to get off a spin here, I believe. Or I might want a Toxic. Yeah, I'm going to Toxic, because even if Lottie comes in, that's fine. Uh, like, at least we whittle that thing down with Toxic, so. Uh, this team I'm a little less scared of. It's just that Crawdon. That Crawdon is so scary, guys. You have no idea what that thing does to this team. Uh, he does go into Latios. That's awesome. Uh, we can't take a Draco from the range we're at, but I really just want to get rid of these rocks, honestly. Um, and he might Defog here. Uh, he Thunderbolts, okay. Uh, interesting. He is Life Orb. Uh, we do live the, uh, the T-Bolt right there, so that's nice. If I was Reflect-type right now, uh, <laughs> I would have been able to Reflect-type his typing before he attacked me and then essentially walled him and switch out into Deancey on his, uh, on his Draco. Um, I think since he's T-Bolt, I think Pharaoh is my play. 
and get up another spike. I want to keep this thing around in case he gets back up rocks, which he very well could against our team. And I want to make sure those things are gone. He's actually going to pull a double back into his Landorus. Okay, uh, that's fine. I am just going to throw up a Leech Seed here. Uh, and then I'm going to get up another Spike. So we're weakening this Lando slowly. Uh, I might also Leech Seed again. Because um, I don't want Zard coming in for free. Yeah, I'm just going to Seeds again. Because I don't see him staying in here. Yeah, okay, he goes Klefki. That's fine too. Um, and against this team, like, he really does not appreciate spikes being up. Like, eventually he's going to have to rapid spin them. And, like, that's, that's really not good for him. Um, but my spinner is essentially dead right now. The good news is that I can now go into Cathagrius, I believe. Even on the double layers, this Klefki is going to be, okay, <laughs> never mind. Uh, Zardex comes in, but Zardex doesn't necessarily beat me. I'm just going to go for a Trick Room here, because I'll outspeed him on the next turn, after he attacks us. He's actually going to Roost, that's awesome, okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, we're going to Shadow Ball twice, I think is my better play than Nasty Plotting, because we have a chance at a drop, and we cover the Switch as well. Uh, so that does a nice clean 47%, and we actually do get the drop. He's going to Flare Blitz and he's going to crit us, come on, man. Um, what's good is that this thing is in Brave Bird range, however, I bring in Talonflame and it almost dies, so this sucks. And he can just go uh, Lando on the following turn. Ah oh, man, why did he have to crit there? Alright, well I think my play is Talon, on, honestly, like I, I, I can't do anything else. I have to go Talon. Uh, and I can't risk him attacking me with Dragon Claw. I just have to go for Brave Bird, even if he switches out. I can't do it. Like, I, I couldn't do it right there. I couldn't pull the trigger. Uh, just gonna get off this Brave Bird damage. It's not gonna be much. We are gonna go down to Rocky Helmet. I assume that's what he was. That's why I did that. Um, that Crawdon is looking scarier and scarier by the minute. Um, what's good here... The thing is, I don't have anything faster than the Starmie. Oh, wait, my Trick Room is up. Hold on a second. Hmm. That could benefit. That could benefit us right here. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go Pharaoh. Uh, I'm gonna get up seeds. And if he wants to bring in Starmie on me, I'm faster at the moment. He goes for the EQ. That's fine. Uh, we're going to gain back a little bit of health. And I think Whip should kill from this range, if I'm not mistaken. It's a powerful move. We'll see. But uh, just short. Just short. All right, we're going to take another EQ right there. Uh, we do lose, essentially, our Crawdon check slash counter slash doesn't do anything to Crawdon. Because um, it just knocks us off and kills us as soon as we're weakened. But um, his Starmie has to spin at some point. Like, it has to if he wants to save his Zard. Uh, it's not going to be here, apparently. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is, because Starmie dies, I'm just going to sack it here. Uh, we're just going to get rid of it. He's not going to SD. There's no way he SDs in front of a, a Ferrothorn. Yeah, he has to knock. And I think he's banded. So I'm actually going to go Deancey. And I think just Protect on this turn is fine. Uh, as he may just knock again to get off some damage. He can't risk switching either into a Moonblast. So let's see what he is. Uh, okay, so he's not Scarf. Uh, he's not banded. So he might just kill us straight up here with, uh, with Aqua Jet. Um... I have to go for Moonblast, though. Yeah, he does kill us. Okay. So, yeah, as you can see, this team does not do well against Crawdont, uh, especially when your opponent crits your Ferrothorn. Can we not get Zard for one game, please? Uh, not your Ferrothorn, by the way. I meant, uh, I meant Kofag. Like, Kofagrius has a knack for, like, either missing Will-O-Wisps when something would not kill after the Willow, or getting crit. Like, it's insane. Uh, against this team... I really like the Hippo lead, I just don't like the Keldeo, but we do have an answer to Keldeo and Starmie, so it's not too bad. Uh, I'm just going to lead Hippo because it pretty much checks like 4 out of 7 Mons. 4 out of 7, yes. Pokemon is a 7v7 game now, guys. Let's go for Stealth Rocks. Um, what does this guy say? What does that clan mean? <laughs> it's not a clan. It's a laddering tournament. I swear, guys, I'm not that low on the... On the uh, on the ladder. Uh, he goes for knockoff, actually. That's a, that's a cool deck. I like that. That's a, that's nice. Uh, I'm gonna go for slack off here. As he crit U-turns, so I'm really glad I slacked off there. 
Alternatively, Earthquaking would have been, wouldn't have been a terrible play. Uh, he's going to go into Zapdos. I'm just going to edge this thing, honestly. Just want to get off some damage. Uh, and I think Stone Edge into Earthquake after Sand negating the Leftovers damage might knock him out if he roosts. So we'll see. Uh, because I'm in the tournament. This guy's asking a lot of questions. I might just uh, ignore opponents. I want to focus on the game. Uh, he does go for Defog, and we get a very nice hit off with Stone Edge. And now I'm just going to go for Quake predicting the roost. Yeah, there we go. We catch that, and Zapdos is gone. So that's nice. Uh, his Defogger is now out of the way. If we get back up rocks, that's really nice. His Keldeo is going to come in. I'm just going to go hard Starmie. I lose absolutely nothing. We get to see what kind of Keldeo this is. He does go for Scald. That does a sizable amount of damage, and he gets the burn. It doesn't really matter because of Natural Cure, uh, but he does have a T-Tar in the back. I just want to calc that damage real quick because I'm not familiar with the Keldeo on uh, Starmie damage. I think that's Specs, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Keldeo versus Starmie. Utility. Uh, 32 to 40 from Specs. Yeah, that's that's that. He got a high roll, too. Um... I may just double into Pharaoh here, predicting the uh, T-Tar. That's the best middle ground play, honestly, because there's no way he goes Entei. Um, and, okay, he's just going to Scald again. That's that's pretty much why that was a middle ground play right there, guys. And, uh, like I said before, his, um, his Defogger is gone, so every layer of Spike is going to matter at this point. Keldeo is going to get weakened. Entei is going to get weakened. Everything is going to get weakened. Okay, he actually brings in Klefki to allow me... To get up more spikes that's awesome so everything is going to be end up taking 25 percent on entry because his only thing off the ground was his um was his zapdos so it's going to get up all layers right here as uh, he just keeps going for spikes i don't think realizing that i do have a rapid spinner in the back um i mean he can get them back up later i don't know if he predicts me to go straight into starmie on this turn he does yes and no um, but I'm just gonna go into Ferrothorn on this. Like, how much do we legitimately take from a U-turn? I know Talon can take it, because it's quad-resisted. It'll only do, like, 12 or 13. Probably. Um. Alright, I'm going... I'm going Hippo. Just because I feel like Hippo does the least... Because he has a Keldeo. My Hippo's already weakened. His Titar's probably banded. Um, and his Entei can knock us out from like 40 if it's banded as well. Uh, saying that, he might actually not have two banded Mons. So this might have been uh, the wrong play. He actually goes for knockoff. So that's kind of cool. Uh, his U-turn is going to do a lot more though. It's going to do... Hold on. Uh, U-turn's base 70. Knockoff's base 100. Essentially, uh, U turn because of the stab is basically super effective right now, so times two, so that's a base 140 move. Uh, no, we can definitely take it. I'm just gonna slack off here, that's fine. Uh, if his Keldeo comes in, we lose a Mon, but his Keldeo also takes 32%. Uh, he goes for Jab, that's gonna do absolutely nothing. He is not gonna get the poison right there, that's amazing because that allows us to quake on this turn, and that means that Keldeo takes even more damage coming in, so that's really, really nice. Uh, like I said before, this, uh, yeah, he was better off going for U-turn right there. It did 32, um, because of the adaptability. But now Keldeo's gonna come in, which I'm going to Earthquake right here. And he has to go for the water move. I don't think he can go for the fighting move with my Talon in the back. Uh, he does go for the Scald. That's awesome. Gets the burn. Not a huge deal because this Keldeo is dead. Um, so now I just go for a Leech Seed. Get, get back some health from whatever comes in, and then I can probably let Pharaoh go down because the only thing it's really walling is this Keldeo. He's actually just going to stay into Scald me. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to gain back enough health to live another Scald here. And uh, I need to get Starmie into Spin. That's the only thing. I need. I absolutely need to get Starmie into Spin. Beedrill, not looking like too much of an issue because of Talon in the back. Um, everything taking nice spike damage. So, do I just want to sack? No, Hippo's still good. Hippo's still very good. I can still get off a, a slack off on the Clef King, and essentially nothing kills me now because Keldeo's dead. So, what's Diancy doing? Diancy's okay against the Titar. Um, yeah, against the Entei as well because of Diamond Storm. Not so much the Clef King. 
I think I would just let Pharaoh go down, honestly. Um, because it will go down uh, after Scald and Burn, so. I'm just gonna go for Gyro Ball. I think that's my play. Goes for the Scald, gets a 26 roll right there. Gonna go for Gyro. Had he gotten a 25, we would have actually lived uh, the Burn. But we do not. That's okay, though. Uh, I think I think Talonflame is, is definitely my play. Because it covers the Mega Beedrill. Uh, as he goes into Klefki, okay. Uh, that's fine. Like I said before, I can just go into Hippo here. And I can essentially just slack off on this thing. Um, he goes for a Reflect. That's absolutely fine. I just slack off here. As he goes out into T-Tar. I don't know if this is special T-Tar, but I'm just gonna go for... Actually, hold on a second. No, it's not a Mega. It's not a Mega. Uh, I'm just gonna slack off here. I wanna see what he does. I don't think he'll D-Dance. That doesn't seem like a likely play. Uh, it could be, though. Maybe I just wanna get off damage on this. I wanna keep this thing healthy because of Beedrill. Like, Talon doesn't beat everything. But, I mean, if this is weakened, yes, it does. It does beat everything. All right. Uh, <laughs> he's looking for Hippo's weaknesses. You guys don't see that. You'll, you'll see that in a second after he chooses his move, but... Uh, he's looking for Hippo's weaknesses right now. <laughs> Grass, ice, and water. You got Ice Beam, bro? No? <laughs> then I'm getting a kill right here. Uh, well, maybe not a kill, but... He does go for Ice Punch. That's fine. Uh, we're just gonna get off an EQ right here. Uh, and now what I can do is actually go... Hard Deancey, I think. Uh, I could also go Quifagrigus. Wait, do I want to keep this? Alright, I don't, I don't think he's Scarfed. I really don't think he's scarfed. Uh, I could keep this and again just heal off on the clef key. So I think Deancey is my play because it also kills off the Sandstorm and the Reflect, which is nice. He's gonna go for Ice Punch again. He's gonna get off a lot of damage right there. Uh, I'm just gonna go for Protect uh, as he goes for Ice Punch again, I would assume. Yeah, okay, he's locked in. Is he scarfed? I think he's scarfed. We're gonna find out right now as I Moonblast. Uh, as he actually chooses to go into Klefki, this is actually going to take a lot, right here, 34, uh, and he can't really priority do anything to me, <laughs> so this is a pretty easy Moonblast right here as he goes for a light screen, we're going to be able to knock out the Klefki, uh, the screens are a little bit annoying, but I can work around them, uh, the T-Tar should be in range of a Brave Bird after the Reflect goes down, which I'm going to make go down right here. I'm just going to go for Protect as he goes for a Poison Jab. That is fine. Uh, what I want to do is actually go into... Doesn't Confagragus resist both of this thing's stabs? It does, right? So I go for a... He has Knock Off, but it's not a huge deal. It's not Adaptability Boosted. This thing isn't super strong. Uh, I just go Hippo here. And I uh, don't let it go down to spikes, actually, because it lives. Uh, he goes for a poison jab. He's going to be taking sand damage. And now, with the reflect gone, Talonflame should be able to knock out T-Tar from the range it ends up at. Or I could just go with Kofag and just win this game. Uh, but I think Talon's the better play. Uh, definitely, yeah. I'm just going to Brave Bird here. His T-Tar is Scarfed, so I can play around it a little bit. Uh, if he locks himself into a... Okay, he goes straight into T-Tar to get it to a KO'd. That's awesome. Uh, we're just going to Brave Bird again. And, uh, yeah. Then Entei is... I mean, Entei was an issue at the beginning of the game. But, like, now with uh, the fact that I can spin, uh, the fact that he has to lock himself in E-Speed as well is huge, and uh, the fact that he takes triple spikes when coming in. Uh, I think he might just E-Speed here. I'm not sure. Uh, I think either way, Brave Bird is my play, because if he uh, e-speeded there, I went into Cofagrigus on the following turn and just won, and that's exactly what I can do now as well, because he takes, does he take one, is he Life Orb? He is Life Orb, okay. Uh, in that case, Sand is about to run out, though. I have to be careful with that. Uh, if I Trick Room and then go for Shadow Ball, Shadow Ball, I should just win, right? Even if he burns me, I think I still win. Because this thing is life orb, it's not abandoned. Yeah, let's just go trick room. Please don't crit me. <laughs> Please don't crit. And of course he crits. And our Cofagrigus goes down yet again. But, we got up the trick room. So you know what that means? That means that Deancey gets the final kill of the game. Because we are faster than the Beedrill. So, very nice. Cofagrigus getting crit again, as it always does. 
uh, but uh, able to live on a bit of HP, get up a trick room for us. And uh, he's gonna protect, but it's it's not gonna be enough. Uh, he's he's not gonna get like quad protect. There's there's just no way. I don't, I don't I, no. It's not happening. It's not happening. I don't believe it for a second. Uh, nope. There you go. All right. So goodbye, Mega Beedrill, and that is GG, my friend. So very nice there. Uh, let's see if we can get one more. We're at 25 minutes, but uh, okay. This is this is looking like it's a much bulkier team, bulky offense over here with the uh, slow bro. The Heatran, uh, Titar, and Keldeo being the main offensive Pokemon in this team, mainly Keldeo. Uh, Keldeo, again, not being too much of an issue because of Starmie, I just don't want it trapped. That's the problem with this team. It's a little bit old, a little bit outdated, and Titar uh, kind of wrecks Starmie, which is uh, very often a response to Keldeo, more often than not. So what I want to do here is... I think just leading Deancey is fine, um, because the Slowbro is going to lead, I don't really care. I could just Moonblast into Moonblast, like not Mega Evolve, Moonblast, I should live his Scald, and then Moonblast again, or I could just go Pharaoh, realistically, because um, I don't want him getting up a Calm Mind for free, that's the only thing, that's why I don't want to Mega Evolve and Protect. Then again, I have Cofagrigus, which pretty much beats this, so it's not a big deal. I'm gonna protect, uh, see what he wants to go for. He probably will just Scald, uh, as he does, awesome. Uh, we're gonna switch into Pharaoh here, and we're gonna get up our first layer of Spikes, uh, which is going to be very nice for Keldeo, Titar, especially Amoongus, that thing is annoying. Uh, he does go Tran there, predicting us. I really just wanna go for a Spike. <laughs> I really do, guys, uh, but uh, I'm not at that level yet. <laughs> Let's go into Starmie, uh, hard counter. There we, there we go, nice. Uh, he does burn with the Lava Plume, because why wouldn't you? Uh, so I'm just gonna burn with Scald, you know? I'm just gonna... Actually, I really don't want to get trapped by Titar. I really don't want to get trapped by Titar. I feel like switching to Pharaoh here is probably a good play. Because there's no way he goes uh, Keldeo. Uh, yeah, I'm doubling into Pharaoh. He shouldn't stay in here. Awesome, okay. Amoongus, not the best, not the worst. Uh, gonna get spikes up this time, for sure. Um, he goes for the HP fire, gets a crit. Again, why wouldn't you, you know? It's, it's just, it's Pokemon. Um, I really want to get up another layer. I think he's gonna Spore here. Because it covers a lot of options. He should be slower than Hippo, I think he is sl slower than Hippo. I think my middle ground play is going into Starmie to eat up the HP Fire or the Spore. Uh, and then scare him out with a potential Psy Shock. Then again, it wouldn't take us out. Uh, it wouldn't take him out. Uh, I don't think he scores here. I think if anything, he goes for the Giga Drain. So I'm going to go Talon so I can scare this thing out. As he does go for the Drain, that's awesome. And uh, now we're going to Wisp, I think. He might just bring in Heatran, realistically. But I am just gonna Wisp, in case he doesn't. That's nice. All right, so we get the uh, we get the Amoongus burned, which is really solid. I'm going to burn off a turn of uh, of sleep here because I really want this Talon for the late game. Uh, does well against Amoongus, against Keldeo, sets up on Heatran most of the time. Um, beats the Skarmory one v one. So uh, he does switch into Skarmory actually. I'm gonna go for a Wisp on this as well. Uh, if I wake up here, that would be amazing, because we get the Skarmory Burn too, and he doesn't have a Heal Beller on his team, like a Chansey or, or anything, so... He's actually going to Whirlwind us out, so we were able to burn off two turns of, um, of Sleep there, uh, which is really cool. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Hippo, because I don't want to stay in on this, uh, in case he goes Titar. He actually goes for a Spike, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Um, if this thing is defog, he defogs away his own spikes. I don't understand running defog and spikes on the same set, so... Uh, I am just gonna go for Stealth Rocks right there, and now... I'm gonna go... Talon, maybe? Uh, actually, let's go for Edge, because I want to break this thing sturdy, if anything. Uh, he's, he's gonna, he is gonna Whirlwind, which is what I more or less what I expected. Uh, and we can Rapid Spin right here pretty freely, I would say. Because he hasn't gone into T-Tar once, so I don't know what he's doing with that thing, if he's saving it in the back. It might be Megatar, looking at his team, because he didn't Mega Evolve Slowbro either. 
Uh, he does choose to go into T-Tar this time. That's a good play. As uh, now I have to Scald and hope we get a burn. Because I can't switch out on a Pursuit. Um, I'm going to get bopped, so this is my only play. If he does go for Pursuit, though, that does give us a switch back into Ferrothorn. He does Pursuit. Uh, we are able to take that. Do we get the burn on Scald? No, we do not. Okay. We actually lived that, and he Scarfed. He's just going to go for it again. So... I mean, there's nothing I can really do about that, but, 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 S Talonflame being sleep fodder is actually really good here. We might actually get a f our first Kofag sweep, again, as long as he doesn't uh, crit us. We're going to go for, really want to get up another layer here. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to get up another layer. That's fine. He brings in Heatran. That's okay. Uh, this thing is probably going to rocks. So, I really want to go Deancey here. Uh, do I need Deancey? We don't know what kind of Kelio he is yet, so I'm willing to risk this. And I don't know if he's Flash Cannon either. He's only revealed Plume. He goes for Stealth Rocks. Those do bounce back. Awesome. He might actually not have Flash Cannon. So, I'm just going to Diamond Storm here. Uh, as he brings in the Skarmory. That's cool. That's awesome. It's going to take 39 right there, and I'm just going to go for HP Fire and knock this thing out. It should be able to do the job. It's super effective. Uh, 120. Yeah, that should do it. Uh, so <laughs> of course. Of course he lives on one. Um, but I mean, now my spinner's gone. That's the only thing. I think I have to keep HP firing. There's nothing I can really do. I gotta keep going for it. Uh, good news is we have more HP fires than he has uh, roosts. So eventually he's going to have to switch out here. Um, and we might eventually get a crit as well, which would be awesome. He does go for Iron Head finally. Okay, so he does have it. And now I think we set up. I think we just go for it. Do we? He switched out on us last time. What did he go into? Amoongus? No, he didn't switch out. He went for a Whirlwind, right? Okay, I'm gonna go into Kofag. And I'm just gonna go for a safe Shadow Wall. Because if I can get rid of this thing, I can set up on something else later. Like the, uh, the Amoongus. He's gonna go for the roost. We're gonna get off a big shadow ball right here. Crit, awesome. Gonna go for the nasty plot. He should roost again in theory. Um, because he doesn't want this thing coming back in on rocks for no reason. And then we get off another big shadow ball right here. This one should do about 70%, 75-ish. And uh, yeah, that's fine. That's great, actually. Uh, gonna get off a 64 here. He does whirlwind us out into hippo. I'm going to... I think go right back into Kofagrius. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna go right back into Kofag. It's gonna be long and draggy with this with this Skarmory here. Uh, he's gonna go for a layer of spikes. He should roost, uh, knowing that he's faster than me. I'm gonna Wisp here. I wanna get this thing burned. Kofagrius can still win, guys. It's, it's not over. It's far from over. I can still win with just this. He actually chooses to stay in uh, and not go for Whirlwind, which is a little surprising. I'm going to go for a Trick Room here, I think. Do I? The good news is he's not Rocks, he's Rocks Tran. So I may just go for a... Yeah, I'm going to go for a Trick Room and I'll tell you why. Because it means that I outspeed this Skarmory and it also means that Titar goes down after Rocks and Spikes to a Shadow Ball. Or at least it should. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Shadow Ball right here. He should attempt to whirlwind me here. It's not going to happen, obviously. Uh, because we're going to be able to knock out the Skarmory. And now we still have our Trick Room up, which is nice. Uh, he has his T-Tar, but no. <laughs> that's not, no. That's not doing the job. He goes into Heatran, actually. Interesting. So you're just going to let me get up a Nasty Plot, is what you're telling me. Uh, okay. That's fine. That's fine by me. Uh, gonna go for the Nasty. He goes for the Toxic. Mm, that's annoying. Uh, do I go for another plot and just try to win here? Like three plots, uh, trick room, and then just fire off shadow balls on everything? Because my trick room is going to run out. Yeah, I'm going to go for another nasty plot here. He can plume me, but... Um, hold on, hold on. I have to think this through, actually. Because he plumes, it does a good amount of damage. We do have a lot of special defense, actually. It's probably going to do about, like, 30... I take 12. I still have to Trick Room on the following turn. We're, we're taking Toxic damage, which is annoying. Uh, can Talon still win on its own? Not while Slowbro's around. 
Well, Pharaoh can pretty much wall that thing. Do I just shadow here? I need to run a calc on Tran. He Tran. Uh, OU. Let's say OU offensive, for example. Uh, no, that's not it. He Tran, especially defensive versus. Uh, what is this? <laughs> I've never typed this thing's name in. Uh, offensive Trick Room. Shadow Ball at plus two doesn't do enough. It only does. Uh, this thing's got a lot of spit F though. 43 to 51. If it doesn't have all this investment, if it's more of an offensive set, then I do 62 to 73 right here. Um, I think it's worth trying to go for the roll. Yeah, I think it is. He's actually going to switch out into his Amoongus, which is very interesting. He lets that thing go down. Um... Now his Heatran cannot take this hit. So he essentially has to sack off two more Pokemon here before he can bring in his Titar. Just to revenge me. That's great. That's awesome. He goes into Keldeo. I'm pretty sure Keldeo dies. Like, no joke. I know Keldeo's bulky, but like... Keldeo, all-out attacker. Takes 78 to 92. Yeah, this thing is in range. Wow. Goodbye. <laughs> Did that just happen? Yo. <laughs> no way. Uh, Titar can't pursue me either. Titar cannot pursue me. He has to go for a crunch. So we can go into Pharaoh here. Let him die. They essentially just take him out to his own uh, to his own crunch on Iron Barb's damage. Right there. He has to go into Heatran. And then it all comes down to doubles, I think. Because if he goes Tran here, I can go Hippo, and then I can s double into Kofag, predicting the Slowbro, and Shadow Ball that thing. And I think that's what I have to do. Yeah, I'm gonna Leech Seed here. Okay, and then we're gonna go Hippo. We're not gonna go for Earthquake because Slowbro tanks. Uh, there's no way it doesn't tank. I'm gonna double into Kofagrius here. Because I have to. He can't let this go down. He cannot allow this to go down. Because then he just outright loses to Kofagrius. It just two it KOs his... Uh, I think it might even Oko his Slowbro. Does he stay in? He actually stayed in. Is this guy for real? Wow. Okay. Sure. Um... He lost there. He legitimately just lost. If I Earthquaked, did he predict that? Wow, that was, that's impressive. Um, okay, now see, the thing is, I can still keep this. I can still keep this just to shut, well, I take a lot of damage coming in. His slow bro's faster than me too. We're min speed. Uh, what do I do here? Okay. Alright, um, I think my play is to Trick Room right here. He's going to taunt, okay? You had no reason to do that. All you had to do was attack me. All he has is Lava Plume as an attack. Alright. So, if I get off a Shadow Ball here, that's nice, because he's in range of Rocks plus, uh, okay, we don't even get it off. Alright. Hippo's going to come back in here. I'm just going to... Quake at this point because had I done that earlier this game would have been over that's really like that was a terrible play I don't understand why you would make that play I, I sound like jar right now but like I don't understand why you would make that play honestly and I get burned awesome uh, so it's trying okay it's trying gonna go down anyway that means I can't get off damage on the slow bro that's annoying man dude if I earthquake there he loses because I go into Kafagragus, it lives whatever move Slowbro goes for, go gets off a Shadow Ball, even at plus one, after Calm Mind. Like, this thing is... is gone. Man, alright. Anyway. Uh, he might just Calm Mind here, I don't know. He's gonna Scald, alright. That's fine. I don't think even a crit, um, Brave Bird does the job, so... I'm just gonna click it anyway just to see the damage, but... It definitely doesn't do the job, not from Talonflame's attack, there's no way. Uh, and we're probably not even going to wake up here because that's just our luck today, as you guys have seen. Yep, we stay asleep on the third turn. And he goes for Psyshock 
for no reason. All right, cool. So that's gonna end that right there. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys next time. Ciao.